All right. Uh, now this is uh, the first example of using proc live test, and uh, this is the demonstration of the bare bone SAS code uh, for using proc live test to produce a couple Meyer curve, and then comparing uh, the couple Meyer curves uh, in several different groups. And this example, uh, here's a courtesy note, uh, is from uh, Paul Allison's excellent book, Survival Analysis Using the SAS System, a Practical Guide. Okay. And the data set is uh, Mayo data set. It has survival times for 25 patients diagnosed with uh, myelomatosis. The patients were randomly assigned to two drug treatments. And uh, this is a disease where tumors throughout the body composed of cells derived from hemopoietic uh, blood tissues of the bone marrow. So let's take a look at the variables in the data set. As we have stated, the structure for a data set for running survival analysis must have uh, two variables. One is the duration or the survival time. So the time in days during the, uh, from the point of randomization to either death or censoring, which could occur either by loss to follow-up or termination of the observation. So this time to event, the survival time variable. And we need another censoring variable. In this data set, it is status. And uh, it has a value 1 if it, it's a death. And uh, it's a have value of 0 uh, if it's censored. Then we have two treatments uh, has value 1 or 2. Okay. And we have a covariate reno has a value of 0 if reno functioning was normal at the time of randomization. And it has a value of 1 uh, for impaired functioning. So here's uh, the small data set. Uh, we can read it in using the data line, the, using the cards actually, statement. So read it in. And uh, here's the bare bone SAS code for producing the Kaplan Meyer plot. Okay. So proc life test data equal to Mayo plots equal to S, parenthesis S, the survival and then graphics and time duration by status uh, prints zero because zero means sensor and symbol one v equal to none okay so we're running the SAS code now here's the um, survivor function as this, this is a well-known uh, couple of my curve okay so we have only one stratum here and this is the product limit survival estimates. So you can see uh, at the very beginning, we have 25 patients and number failed is zero. Then when it goes to, I think the eight, day eight, we had two failures and the number left drops to 24, 23. And the survival probability goes from one to 0.92. And then it goes on. Okay. Um, so at the end, uh, you can see um, the um, number of left uh, is uh, six, and the survival probability is about thirty percent. And you have some summary statistics for the time variable duration. Uh, basically, tells you the percentiles. Uh, but you know, uh, it is uh, um, transformed by the log log transformation. Okay, um, and this is based on sensor data. Okay, so this is uh, actually biased for the true survival time. And then the the plot is the uh, Kaplan Meier curve. Okay, Uh, and from the curve, you can obviously see the largest uh, number of events occurred uh, at the beginning of um, 
like be to before I don't know like 200 days okay and the second chunk of the code is we want to use proc lab test to compare uh, the survival curve in the two treatment groups and this is really implemented by using the strata option okay strata statement so here is the SAS code here is the same as before but we add strata and treat okay and then uh, this is uh, some uh, cosmetic work uh, we do for the graphs okay okay so now we run the SAS code and uh, we can take a look now there's a stratum 1 and stratum 2 so in stratum 1 we get uh, the product limit of survival function estimate and uh, the final survival probability is about 50 percent and for the stratum 2 we get product um, limit estimate and the final survival probability is about 15 percent so it seems there's uh, a difference okay and if we look at the survival curve the Kaplan-Meier then this uh, automatically used um, the solid line is for treatment equal to one and the dashed line is for treatment number two okay and you can see there's a difference at the beginning uh, they're mostly similar but at the end uh, treatment one actually had higher uh, survival probability and we can run uh, a, a statistical test to compare the groups to see if there's a significant difference between the survivor functions and we have two tests one is a log rank test the other one is a Wilcoxon uh, rank test okay so because we're using non-parametric statistic here the Kaplan-Meier curve is a non-parametric maximum likelihood estimate of the survivor function so the hypothesis tests here are also non-parametric okay so from here uh, we can see um, test of equality over strata so this is uh, both log rank and Wilcoxon give us a high p-value indicating with these 25 patients uh, we cannot detect a difference even though we observe a difference uh, from the graphs okay uh, that's a demonstration of the use of PROC live test. Thank you.